think it's been a strange year for Fury because on one hand, we've not seen the fights we wanted to see. And we've not we've seen uncompetitive fights against Dillian White and Derek Chisora. On the other hand, they've both been in like massive football stadiums. <laughs> so it's just like <laughs> to like a casual fan or to someone who's not a boxing fan, they might look and think, oh, well, that looks amazing. Um, whereas actually, you know, the fights haven't been hugely entertaining. Um, and I think what we've seen in the his past two fights is the the power of casual fans who, when there's a big name out there, um, like Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua. They don't have to fight a top competitor, and people will still turn up. Um, I think it also anyway. shows possibly, and you might, you know, disagree or agree with this, but I think it also shows how the sort of boxing subculture which we find ourselves in is actually quite narrow when it comes to the mainstream market. And you're sitting there, obviously, looking at the draw fight and going, "This is horrendous. The undercard's terrible, pretty much." I mean, the Dubai fight turned out all right, to be fair, with the drama. But you're looking at it from a piece of paper and going, "Don't fancy standing in the cold watching this." Barely fancy sitting at home watching it, and then you turn around. And it's like, what are these sixty thousand people doing? Where are they coming from? Like, why are they paying all this money? So yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you. That is, it does show the power of that. Um, but I suppose some of the fights we will discuss, it kind of shows you how potentially big they could be if um, if there was a sort of stadium or you know venue able to hold them.